In this video, we'll try to understand filtering, sorting, and lookups in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. My name is Paresh, and let's get started. So in this video, we'll try to understand how to filter data. Also, we'll try to understand how to sort the data and also understand the system defined and user defined lookups. All right, so we are back again over here in our application. So let's just search for all vendors. And from all vendors list, I want to search the vendor that we had created in our previous videos, right? That is 365p enterprises. Now you can use this filter box to provide the keywords for your filter. And then you can filter on all these columns as well. All right. So let's just start typing it over here. So I enter some keywords. Now over here, the system is giving me the options on which column do I need to search for this keyword. So obviously I want to search on the name. So let's just select the name. And then based on the keyword that I typed in, the system pulls up all the matching um, entries from the name column. So this is how you use the filters over here. Now, apart from using the filter box over here, we can also use the filters on the columns. So for example, if I go to my name column and I want to filter on all the vendors, which contains, uh, let's say the word authority, right? So I'll just go over here and choose uh, the matching, which is, for example, my search should match exactly the keywords that I type in or the keyword is not in the vendor name or it contains exactly uh, what I'm typing it in over here. And so there are so many matches that you can use. Uh, the most common one that usually people use is contains. So, for example, if I do contains and I type in uh, search for the word authority, and show me all the vendors that match this particular filter. So if I click on apply, then you will see that the system then brings up all the names of the vendors where it has the keywords that I typed in, which is authority in, in this case. Now to clear the filter, you can also go to the same column and click on clear and then the filters will be removed and you, then you will see the list of all vendors available. And that's how you do the filtering using the quick filters here or the filters on the columns. Now, when it comes to um, sorting, you see that, for example, over here in the vendors account column, you see that arrow that is pointing up. What it means is that it's being sorted. This list is being sorted ascending order that is sort A to Z. So if I click on sort Z to A, it will be a descending order. And you will see that all the um, vendors lists are sorted on this particular column where the sorting order is Z to A. Well, you can use this option, whichever column that supports it. So for example, I want to sort it on the name column. So I can sort it, I can click on this button, uh, sort A to Z, and then the whole list will be sorted based on the, the name, uh, which is in ascending order A to Z, or I can do Z to A as well. So this is how filtering and sorting works in Dynamics 365 FNO. All right, so now let's just have a look at lookup fields. All right. Now here I am in my vendor record, which is 365p enterprise vendor record that we had created. And over here, you will see some fields which have these drop downs. So for example, I have these groups, right? So if I drop down on this uh, particular field, I can select what type of grouping that I need. For example, over here, I specified that 365p enterprise uh, comes under grouping 20, which is service vendors, right? Now, when we do this lookup, first of all, uh, it's a list, right? And it might have a master record or a reference data. But how do we know that it's a user defined uh, master data? So if you right click on this drop down you will see that there is an option called view details. And usually wherever you see this option view details, it's a user defined master data or a user defined lookup. What does that mean? So if I click on this view details, it will take you to the master list that is available over here. So if I clear the filter, you will see that all the master data behind that lookup field is defined here. And if you want to add more, that means a user defined list. If you want to add more, you can click on new and start adding uh, values, which will then show up in the lookup field, right? So how this is done, we'll look into that um, in later stages, but 
this is what it means by user defined lookup field so let us just go back and let's just take another example for example over here we have abc code right where we define the abc classification of a vendor now if i click on the drop down which is similar to this which i click on the drop down uh, how do i know if this is a user defined uh, list or not so if i right click on this uh, button i do not see view details options over here which means that this is not a user defined list. And what does that mean? Well, it means that if I want more options over here during implementations, then I would need a help of a developer, for example, to be able to add more options in fields which are not user defined. So those are the lookup fields and those are the difference, uh, different types of lookup fields that is user defined and not so much as user defined. Now, usually as a consultant, when you're implementing uh, Dynamics 365 FNO, you would know or where all the master data or the reference data is available in the application. Mostly it's under the setup where you can go and check all the master data. But however, if you want to quickly determine on a form uh, what is a user defined uh, lookup and what is not, you can, uh, you know, right click on the drop down and see or view details to determine that right now this actually helps you during implementation to have a chat with your client to say what is uh, user defined that is configuration and what is not that is customization so based on that you can determine your effort estimations as well so let's just do a quick recap of what we saw in this particular video so by now i think you must know how to use filters using quick filter you should also know how to filter uh, on the columns what are lookup fields you should know by now and how to determine if a lookup has a user defined master data behind it i hope this video helped thanks for watching again and please to subscribe to the channel also like and subscribe we'll meet you in the next video bye for now